Another way to create keyframe paths is by creating new views in Podium Walker. By view, I mean an individual camera position or a keyframe. In this case, I'm going to use a combination of SketchUp scenes and some new views because I want a more detailed camera path animation than we had in part 3. So I will start with the seven camera views or scenes that I imported from SketchUp. Between scene 1 and 2, I'm going to move my Podium Walk camera using a combination of mouse and keyboard navigation controls to get a more precise camera position at the open door. You can use W, S, A, and D keys to move forward and backward right and left. Spacebar will move the camera up, shift space will move the camera down. Here's my first view. You can see I added a few more views in the preset panel to create a new animation path. In fact I deleted a couple of scenes, moved the camera forward using navigation controls, to the front of the room, created a new view, view 2, moved this up between scene 5 and 6, rotated the camera, and then created the third view in Podium Walker and, and placed this right after view 2. This way the camera would move backwards through the animation path. So I'm ready to create the keyframe path. Use camera speed of 100. Once I've created the path, I'm ready to export. I'll export using the M2T uh, high density MPEG option with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And this is what the photorealistic animation looks like, created from Podium Walker.